Sensor scan to one half parsec. On screen. Weapons are advanced. It's more like a big ball of wibbly wobbly, tiny wiley stuff. Open a channel. All vipers, break, break, break! Impossible to see the future. This is the emergency holographic doctor speaking. You wish the energy talking. Helmsman laid a new course. From the wind. Watch how I saw. Sure now, it's gone completely. Engage. Hello, and welcome to the Save Sci-Fi Podcast. Uh, there. Welcome to the Save Sci-Fi Podcast. Successfully 11 seconds in, and I've already totally flubbed the intro. Yes, <laughs> John. <laughs> Wait, you guys started and just, like, was silent for 11 seconds? No, no, no. It's, it's, we, we, we play the intro. And then um, I say, hello and welcome to the Save Sci-Fi Podcast. Thank you for joining us. And halfway through that, I've got a random echo in my headset. And immediately my brain went, wait, there's noise. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> God, I don't say you get echo. It's not working. So anyway, anyway, returning back to sensibility. Um, tonight on the podcast, we are covering three new trailers that dropped in the last 24-ish hours. Well, two of them dropped in the last 24 hours. Um, one of them dropped last week. Um, we're going to break them down, see what we can see, and get some feedback on what we thought of them. They are Star Trek Beyond, X-Men Apocalypse, and Independence Day Resurgence. Then later on, we're going to look at um, the finales of the series that have just finished. If we don't get that this week, we'll probably cover it next week. And Star Wars is coming out in, for us, or well, me and Stuart, a little bit over 24 hours. From now, yeah, but uh, so yeah. <laughs> it's crazy to think. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, so we're going to be doing a what we expect to see in that, and then we're going to also have a bonus podcast later this week after we watch Star Wars, where we're going to force Michael to listen to all the spoilers. Just wait <laughs> till Saturday. That's all I'm asking. Wait till the 18th, yep. and I'll be golden. No, no, no. We we do it. We got to do it before the Americans see it, so we get people who are like. These guys have reviewed it. Let's watch it. You know what? You guys. Yeah. Uh... I tell us how much it's going to suck. <laughs> yeah, hey. Exactly. We're the guinea pigs. If it's, we, We're so used to things trying to kill us in Australia that if it does try and kill us, we'll be fine. Hey, just just remember, Indonesia gets it on the 16th, so there's already any spoilers before we even get to see it. Yeah, I know. Stupid Indonesia. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, of- I will not be joining you guys if you guys do a Star Wars podcast. <laughs> before the- yeah, I, I, I will have to back out of that one too. I want, I want to see the dang thing. <laughs> okay, I paid I'm, for the I'm marathon. I'm literally not I'm getting online. Marathon, okay? uh, so, yeah. You did the marathon? Yeah, I'm doing it in Chicago. I've <laughs> last week I watched episode one through three and all of the Clone Wars. This morning I watched four, um, and all of Rebels. Oh please! So, I, I I did a marathon over the weekend. Yeah, I can't do that because I, I work. Yeah, but I'm doing all seven movies in a day. So, Dear uh. Lord, man, now, fuck that. <laughs> even, <laughs> I I can watch all of the Hobbit movies in a straight run, but even I don't think I can handle all of the Star Wars movies in a straight run. Well, that's what we're doing. It's we're uh, it's going to be a marathon the goes for longer. All of the Lord of the Rings, all of Star Wars. Yeah, it would be all of Lord of the Rings because each of those yeah. movies are like four hours and there's six of them. Um, yeah, so, six, 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 six. Yeah, yeah. yeah. anyway, um, let's get straight on topic. We have, obviously, Stuart, Michael, and EJ joining us. Hi! Hey! So, meow. Yep, that's the <laughs> reverse order. <laughs> that was a dog? <laughs> Okay. There was a fake meow and then a real bark. So apparently we have Scooby Doo also joining us. <laughs> um, it's Porthos. Porthos. Yeah, we'll go, go, go with Porthos. Oh, of course. Keep the cheese away from him. Um, <laughs> Aww. No cheese for you. Um, so anyway, let's start off with the bottom of the barrel, the worst of the worst. Star Trek Teenage Beyond. Teenage Ninja Turtles. Oh, wait. No, no, Star Trek Beyond is still below Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So, I saw, oh. I saw that this trailer was, was, like, I saw this on Facebook. 
five minutes before I walked into my final exam for computer engineering. I was so pissed that I couldn't watch it until after my four hour exam. <laughs> and then after the exam, hey, Chris, it certainly was. Were you, were you, were you, were you glad that you had to wait four hours after you, you finished the exam, you walk out of the exam, you watch the trailer, and your first thought is, oh, thank God it took me four hours to have to watch this. <laughs> um. <laughs> Yes. Uh, I, I'm not sure how I want to answer this question. Let's just say my reaction afterwards was kind of like, what? Yeah. I, my, my reaction after watching it was unclean. So unclean. Need a shower. <laughs> my reaction is, why is Mad Max in space? Yeah. It's like, seriously, no, seriously, old school motorbike and what looks like to be the, 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 the Wog Boys, but in female version. <laughs> Okay, is my whole don't... issue with it is it's it's trying to be Guardians of the Galaxy. When are we going to have a movie that's going to actually take Star Trek seriously? Maybe? Yeah. I, I don't understand how it's trying to be Guardians of the Galaxy, EJ. Please elaborate. Uh, the, the very first few scenes where they walk in playing the music was very Guardians oh. of the Galaxy. Yeah, and the whole the, the whole tone of the humor and and how you know and it just doesn't take itself seriously. It's I kind didn't. Of humor. I didn't see as much humor, but okay. Yeah, I didn't see much humor, but I did think it was absolutely absurd. It um, didn't, and I grew up with Star Wars, so I came into Star Trek much later in my life. That did not feel like Star Trek at all. It yeah. No, it did wasn't. Not. It's not. Way less, th way less than the last two movies. Yeah. Well, and, and the last two movies didn't feel like Star Trek. Well, the first one wasn't as bad, but especially Into Darkness was definitely not so much Star Trek. This one was just beyond, I'm sorry, the literally name... beyond. <laughs> the appropriate name is Star Trek Into Crapness <laughs> by Jar Jar Abrams. Uh, yeah, the and the title of this movie should be called Beyond Star Trek because it's no longer Star <laughs> no, no, Trek. No, it it's gone. Trek. No, no, it should be Star Trek Beyond Saving. That's oh. better. That's better. Okay, can I'll, you I'll take that. Honest. To be perfectly honest, it, it, I, I do have higher hopes for the Star Trek movie than I do the Star Wars movie at this point. Because really? at least, oh yeah, because the Star Trek, even though the trailer I, I didn't care for so much, the Star Trek movie is still being uh, um, directed by a Trekkie. And the whole, and they're really trying, like in, in all the, the articles I read, the interviews I read, they're all talking about how they're trying to bring it back to the original track where you have, you know, a moral center, where you have a discussion, you, you have that intellectualism and that yeah. adventure. And, and then this out trailer story. comes out and it shits all over that message. It's like, look yeah. at the explosions, look, the Enterprise is being torn to pieces. Woo! Yeah, I mean, why in the world do they have to blow up the Enterprise? Like, immediately, the first time they go into this next, you know, into the, you know... Off in a whoop-whoop. Uh, now, if we, yeah. any way I could see this being fixed is at the end of the movie, there's some BS, time loop BS that fixes the Enterprise. No, well, see, I, I think, I honestly, the reason... I, I will be done with the new universe. I will stop watching the new universe. I expect this will be... The, because it's the third and final in this movie series, I expect them to destroy yeah. the Enterprise. Yeah, that's that's the one thing that makes that I kind of understand about this. But my only other thought is maybe, you know, I know they're saying this new series that's coming out in 2017. I know they're saying it's not related to you know Star Trek Beyond. However, I could easily see this as a way for them to move on to the Enterprise B in that universe. Yeah. Yeah, but no. But the, what was what would be the point of creating an Enterprise B when the original? Well, first off, they haven't had Enterprise A yet. Yeah. Second off, the Enterprise itself, Kirk has not made a great name for himself like he did in the original series and and the original series of movies. Exactly. The the, the 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 Enterprise has not become this venerated icon in Starfleet and Federation culture within the new universe yet. That's not true. I mean, the Enterprise started with the uh, you know, NX01. Supposedly, yeah, NX01. So that that was already a flagship. Right, but the the, the uh, okay. Let me put it this way: the reason they continued with the Enterprise A, the Enterprise B, C, D, all the way through to J, is because of Kirk's Enterprise. Yeah, that is the one that went out and. Um, made you know hundreds of new con uh, contacts with the alien species and kind of set the standard for every other Federation exploratory ship moving forward. Now, yes, 
Archer's Enterprise was was iconic, but it, it, and Archer himself, more importantly, was iconic, but not to the same. Hey, not to the same level as Kirk. Exactly. I mean, you can definitely say yeah. Kirk definitely did make contact. Yeah. And if we, okay, if we look at it at, in order of when they were actually produced, then yes, that is definitely true. And considering the the NX01 Enterprise wasn't even mentioned until the series came out. It's fair to say that the NX01 was effectively tacked onto that story. Thus, this original 1701 is the one that sort of made the name. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, and it also, it kind of just stretched the boundaries. Like, the, the Enterprise went out, and okay, we're going to meet folks and all that, but the Enterprise, the uh, 1701 really pushed the boundaries of what was possible. If you look yeah. at the kinds of, of, of people that they were interacting with, I mean, you're meeting, like, gods like Apollo, like, literally the Apollo. Yeah. You know, for, uh, from Greek mythology. So, I mean, and and things like that. Uh, the Tholians, the the Organians, I mean, you're dealing with a much higher level of, of otherness and, at this point. And this trailer shows almost the exact opposite. Instead of it being these other higher, sort of more advanced beings, you see random chick with tattoos who looks almost Romulan. Looks very similar to sort of the way Nero had his tattoos in the first movie. Maybe. Um, and you Maybe see them mad maxing around. I, 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 just, yeah. was, they, they made their fair share of, of, of humanoid contacts as well. My point is, is that... Um, there hasn't been enough time for the Enterprise to have met all these other alien species and become that iconic ship yet. Exactly, exactly. But yeah, it's... I've gone from being... Well, see... I hate to say it again, but the 2009 Star Trek was the one that I, was the movie that actually got me into Star Trek. Up until that point, I had never considered watching it. After hey, watching... Man. Shut up. After watching that, I did watch the rest of Star Trek. Um, so I actually have a lot of respect for that 2009 movie. And Into Darkness was a shadow of that movie, and this seems like the crap that comes out of the fucking warp reactor. <laughs> well, we'll see. I'm, I'm still, like I said, I still have higher hopes for the, for the Star Trek movie than I do the Star Wars movie. Yeah. What, what, what is your reasoning for why you're, you're so uh, negative towards the Star Wars movie? Because I'm oh, much, I more, I have much more excited. hope towards that. I, I did until about like a week, week and a half ago. I was really, really excited. And I still want to see it, and I'm still excited for it. But um, then I started looking at the poster. And I'm like, what is this massive round moon thing that looks like it hasn't yeah. done? And then yeah, I did that... a lot of research, and it's it's another Death Star Empire type thing. super weapon. They're <laughs> just like yeah. the same, same story from the original movie. It's, it's going to be the they're same not even thing. giving the original characters a break. <laughs> no, yeah, you're not even giving the original characters a break. Come on. So it's like, um, so I, I'm guessing that it's going to be a lot of pew 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 and some interesting personal moments, but the actual plot is going to be like just like the Star Trek JJ J, J. Abrams Star Trek movies. There's going to be a lot of plot holes, and there's going to be, and it's going, and the plot itself is not not going to be anything spectacular. And for I, me, who's I, who's very interested in all about the story. That's going to be really depressing. Yeah. I, I, I don't know about the best story, but I don't expect it to have a lot of plot holes because of the simple fact that... It, well, it's a Star it Wars is... movie, Michael. There's going to be plot holes. Well, yes, but I don't and think it's going to have as Abrams much. Abrams Star Wars movie, which I means there's going to be even think... more plot holes. But Abrams got like... a lot more people collaborating on this than yeah. just him. Than like the Star Star Trek movie. The Star Wars movie is a much even much bigger thing for them. And they've got a lot more people collaborating on it to make sure it's better. Yeah, and he yeah. is and he's actually a Star Wars fan where he wasn't a Star Trek fan. So there's also that. Um anyway, let's let's move on from the, the, the Star Trek beyond and just go have a really quick shower. You can pause this, go have a shower, beyond. clean yourself off. Um, it, it'll make you feel dirty, I know, but just, <clears throat> I'm sorry, we had, we had to cover it, we did, I apologize, let's move on to X-Men Apocalypse. Um, X the X-Men Apocalypse trailer, you guys have seen that? Yeah. Yeah, yes. why is Angel a teenager still a teenager? So they reverse the timeline, basically. Yeah, they, they, yeah. Where in, the... da in Days of Future Past, they reset the timeline so everyone's young again. 
Yeah. Ah. Well, because he was a teenager in like what was it, the second film? Oh, the third he was film. Te- I wouldn't say he was a teenager. Just I'd say it was in like early twenties. Okay, then why when you go because because the the new film takes place in the early eighties, right? Yeah. And that film took place in the early 2000s. So 20 years earlier, why is he a teenager with metal wings? Uh, it's X-Men. <laughs> Semantics. I don't, I don't know. But yeah, the the X-Men Apocalypse trailer, I also felt very sort of disappointed with. Um, really? Yeah. I, I, I felt different about it. I, I, I'm, I wouldn't say I'm excited, but I am looking forward to it. Oh, don't get me wrong. I'm gonna watch it, but oh, yeah. it's, it's it's I I, I like well it's just, it's the so... part the part of the trailer that really made me start to get excited. It was the end of it where um where Charles's eyes just turn black, and he goes, and "I've just, never felt power like this before." He's just like consumed with evil power. I'm like, Ooh, yeah. Let's see where we go with this. That uh, that admittedly was cool, but it's sort of it's like how do I put it? Um, when the Batman vs. Superman trailer came out after the Captain America Civil War trailer, <laughs> um, I thought that the... Because this one came out only a little bit after the, after the Batman one, I felt like each one was a step down. The Civil War trailer had me really excited. I want to watch the movie then and there. The Batman trailer came out and I was like, yeah, it looks interesting, but I'm not going to go out of my way to watch it. And then X-Men Apocalypse came out, trailer came out, and I just watched it and I went, yeah, no, no. Well, I, I agree that it was a step down, but I, uh, honestly, my expectations for X-Men Apocalypse were so low, especially after seeing the horrible Apocalypse costume, yeah. that I uh, that the trailer actually brought my interest up a notch. Well, okay, your, your interest must have been lighting. really low. That's why he looked, that, it was bad lighting, that's why he looked like Ivan Ooze. Yeah. <laughs> that's what everyone's saying. Yeah, it could be. Because if you look in the trailer, he is not purple, he is blue. Even still. I'm not as familiar with the X-Men universe, honestly. So it's kind of, for me, it's coming from an outside point of view. Like, I've, I've seen all the X-Men movies up till now, but I was never a big fan of the comics. Never a big fan of the cartoons. Though, I mean, not saying that they were bad. What I've seen were great, but I've just... Oh, Never been a huge part the, of it. The, the, the cartoon I grew up with. Yeah, the cartoon oh. from the nineties was spectacular. That was amazing. Yeah. Oh, I've, I've seen, a, I've seen some of it, but I just haven't seen much. You need to go watch that. That is the best. I will once I'm finished catching up on Star Wars and Clone Wars and such because I never finished that. But honestly, oh, I can just ruin that for you if you want. No, I already know a lot about it and everything. I already know most of the most of the spoilers and everything because I mean, you know, I kind of have a science fiction oh, yeah. Facebook page, if you haven't noticed. <laughs> really? I never knew. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, I mean, I thought the trailer looked well, no, no, so, all so, right. Michael, I'm, I'm sorry, but you have the tense wrong on that? You had one. That. It's mine now. It's not yours now. It's ours now. <laughs> Get it right, David. <laughs> hey, guys. Um, do you mind if my uh, cousin joins us? Yeah, sure. All right. All right. So this is this is my cousin Johnny Boy. He's a an aspiring storyboard artist. How's and... it going? Ahoy, ahoy. Hey, hey. Hello uh, there. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, um, yeah. Expert Apocalypse. <laughs> I just join in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He, yeah, he, he wasn't listening, so he, he'll probably just jump in every now and then when he gets an idea. Yeah, yeah that's fine. It's effectively how I host the show. Just have an idea, send the show off in a random direction. <laughs> Pretty much. Oh, yeah. Pretty yeah. much. So, like, we're talking about, like, how, how like, the... the um, X-Men Apocalypse uh, trailer. X-Men Apocalypse trailer and how everybody hates it. Yeah, I just saw it two days ago. Um, I remember, like, years ago, there was, like, this... That Power Rangers movie. It shows that purple bad guy guy. Something... I have news. Oh, I have a news. Oh, so when I saw a picture, I was like, that looks like that creature I saw years ago. And then sure enough, I'm watching someone and he mentioned that character. I'm like, holy crap, that's the person I was just thinking about. So I guess it's pretty common. But, um... Please uh, take your Oscar Isaac yeah. alone. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, I, I should have warned you. Stuart, our resident Jedi, is also our resident ranger. Really? <laughs> hmm. 
Ow, that was loud. That was quite loud. <laughs> Sorry, I got it was a Facebook <laughs> message that came up. Sorry. Oh no, we know that. Yeah. Anyway, um. But no, I, I'm. The only thing I uh, I don't like uh, the feel of just of um Jennifer Lawrence in it because you don't see her in the in the in the proper mystique. Yeah. And she said in the past that she doesn't like the makeup, so I don't I don't think she was very happy coming back for it. That yeah. is what I was thinking about, like. There was one guy I was hearing, he's like, the only thing I'm worried about is Jennifer Lawrence because he didn't even show her in that thing, in, in that, her, like, in her, look no. at all. And I'm saying to myself, I bet it's because she doesn't like the makeup, and that's exactly what yeah, I was she, thinking. Yeah, she, she said um, that she absolutely hated the makeup, so. Why Can apply they, for a role if you know you're going to hate doing it? Contracts, I guess. I well, money and money. you don't know that you're going to hate it until... You're doing it. You're yeah. having to do it, and then you're stuck. And so, yeah. And so, what probably happened is she just negotiated with this movie that that there wouldn't be as much sure that, that there wouldn't be the makeup. Well, she'll have so to. So does that mean that she'll they're use it eventually? Sure, like that? No. Well, not much anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Probably, if there's money, probably just a lot oh. less. So yeah, so. probably the probably the only time we'll see are probably the big fight scene at the end. Yeah. Um. Yeah. As it's one of the rules of acquisition. If there's money in it, go for it. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, and yeah. Now, the, might... Although I do, I do like that. Um, um, James McAvoy sh- uh, shaved his head for um going for bald savior. Yeah. Did you but, like? He didn't actually. He didn't. Uh, that wasn't a ball cup. He actually shaved his head. Nice. Um, did you see yeah, at okay. the very end when Apocalypse sort of grows super huge? It's like, yeah. It's like oh. I was like, oh god. Yeah. Yeah. But that's normal. That's what that's what he does in the comic. Like, yeah, no, it was just it was cool. Well, at least they actually cool do it. Was, it was, yeah, they it was say cool to something. see how they how they did it in the um in live action. Ah, uh, forced perspective. Oh God, who's who's pinging in Skype? Amy. <laughs> Amy. Amy. Uh, you guys. Okay, adding Amy to the call. So. Hey! 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 Get up! Hey! Hey! I rang Hope this morning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah oh, no. well. too 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 late for him. Okay, so what are we up to? Uh, we're talking X Men Apocalypse. Okay. For those who don't know, this is our resident. Let's keep everything on track, Amy. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, so the X Men Apocalypse trailer to me is uh, it's just I don't know. It didn't. It felt like it was missing something. Wolverine? No, not that. It... So, <laughs> Sorry, you know... everyone's been making that joke. <laughs> yeah, you know how the old X-Men movies, they had that weird thing you can't put your finger on that makes a good movie a great movie? This movie yeah. felt like it was missing that thing. Yeah, they didn't have it. I think the other ones were missing that thing too. No, a lot of the others were missing it, don't get me wrong. Most of them were missing it. But, um, yeah, it's just... there. Yeah. You know what I, I love um, with the new cast? I love the Storm um, design. The costume is awesome. Oh, yeah. And especially, and, and um, as well as um, Olivia Munn and Psylocke. Like, she pulls it off really well. Yeah. I'm, I'm sort of hoping... I've heard this is the last of this to- X-Men Timelines movies, and I'm sort of hoping it is. Yeah. And I know we're getting a third Wolverine, I just don't know when. Yeah. And I'm, uh, and I'm, I'm just... looking forward to Deadpool. <laughs> Me too. Yes. Oh, yeah, everyone's Hurry up. Deadpool. <laughs> Once Star Wars is done, hurry yes, up. Yes, get over awesome. here. So, so yeah. anyway, let's move on to the the winning trailer of the three that dropped this week. By far, no questions asked, is the Independence Day trailer. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, yes, <laughs> that was fantastic. So, I went into this having literally, as far as I'm concerned, the original Independence Day is a perfect solo movie. There is no reason to have a sequel. And then <laughs> I watched the trailer and I was like, <gasps> oh, yes. They've done everything right with yeah. this. They, they oh, yeah. so okay, okay, we'll wait and see. I mean, it is sad that there's no Will Smith. Yeah, but there is there is sort of explained that he was one of the test pilots in the earliest of the fighters and it... Had a, it malfunctioned yeah, and, and killed him. I love that. Uh, yeah, and I so. love that his um his son is an is, t- is oh, uh, in, it, oh in the thank movie. fuck it's not Jaden. Oh <laughs> yeah, no, it's not actually oh, Jaden. I mean, in the movie, it's his son that takes over his role. Yeah, 
not actually Jaden. The character son, yeah. And the and the yeah. and the president takes over the the crazy. Have you guys gone to war? What? Have you guys gone to war? Nineteen ninety six dot com. Uh, no, not yet. No. I I did, but it was taken forever to load, so I gave up. Okay, I, I went to it, and, and thankfully I'm, I'm at a place where there's good internet. And Johnny and I, like, before we even knew this was going to be a topic on this podcast, Johnny and I were, 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 were looking at it, and it's really awesome. It gives a blow-by-blow blow detail uh, history of what happens from 96 to the modern day. Oh, nice. And it mentions Will, Will Smith. And it mentions like how, how Will Smith died in one of the early hybrid fighters that they were testing, how they added shields to the F-22, and that was like the first experiment with the hybrid fighter that you see in the yeah. movie, and how like uh, early 2000s, uh, they finally killed all of the aliens because there was a holdout stronghold in Congo, and Congo refused the rest of the world's help and, and insisted on dealing with it on their own, and all this crazy stuff. Oh, okay. oh someone had way much, too, too much time on their hands? So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, duh. <laughs> I gotta say, I love the, I love the. Yeah, it's, the, it's the, pretty the, awesome. And all, those, and those satellite, like those satellite dish turrets look spectacular. Oh, just can everything we, looks spectacular. The, and, the, and can the, we just, the hybrids. Yeah, can we just say like, can we just acknowledge how amazing the new like ship is? Like, you know, oh. how do you top? How do you top that iconic? Those the motherships coming through those clouds, you know, yeah. in that, like, fiery clouds and everything. How do you top that? With a bigger, freaking awesome <laughs> with Earth-sized the, ship. The, yeah, with a planet-sized <laughs> ship. Did, did you that notice what was happening when that ship was merging with the atmosphere, though? What? Pay real close attention to the clouds. Normally yeah, something noticed, that noticed, big coming in yeah. would push the clouds away. But the clouds are actually getting sucked into it. So it looks Whoa. like it's draining the atmosphere off the planet. I don't know if that's what it's doing, but that's what it looks like it's doing. Crap. Oh, oh no, awesome. that looks spectacular. Oh yeah. And then it's a massive like dogfight. Goldblum... Yeah. Oh sorry. No, no, go for it. Go for it. No, oh, no. I feel like uh, Jeff Goldblum's line in the end. It's gonna be like a famous line. He's like, "Well, I gotta tell you, this one looks a lot bigger than the last one." <laughs> <laughs> That's probably going to be like, no. Right. Uh, what is it with Jeff Goldblum having those one-liners where it's... look back like, Because oh yeah, the moon has been colonized, okay. Mars has been colonized, and a few other sort of places in our solar system have been colonized by this point, haven't they? I think it's just the moon. Because when I was on... Because I, I did make it to the war of whatever page. No, well, actually, what, if you look... Look on that website. It's the moon, Mars, and then uh, somewhere. Uh, I think it's like one of the moons of Jupiter, Rhea. Okay. Oh, I'll bet you anything. Then the, that the aliens take out like Mars or that moon, and that's their first warning. Yeah. Yeah. Easily. easily. Exactly. It's probably gonna like show well, some way that it blows up the planet or something, and then it's coming towards Earth. Well, that probably explains the um. The, uh, the part of the trailer where they're like they're they're walking around which looks like an abandoned facility it's probably one of those bases yeah and you see them hey, just unload it looks like most of the old I'm sorry <laughs> EJ you're starting to, to drop out a little bit I'm getting a lot of static coming in from you okay. interesting I'm getting a lot of static coming from like everyone uh, I'll, I'll try hanging up and coming back uh DJ. Oh no, we're getting... The static's still there. I'm just getting static from somewhere else. Must be Amy. Um, so it wasn't me. Alright. <laughs> yeah, because normally yeah. if I'm causing issues, I'm, oh. I don't... Yeah, do it's it. Amy. It's definitely Amy. Okay. Yep. Yeah, it's definitely Amy. Yeah, but sorry. <laughs> Why would I have static? I don't know. It's got a really high noise fall for some reason. Because you're evil. Yeah, we'll go with uh, evil. It's probably the pitch from the stupid machines behind, um, outside my house. Yeah. The builders. Um. Yeah. So the independent. So we all agree, Independence Day trailer was definitely the winner of the lot. Yeah. Yeah, and it may it. I pro, I'd have to say it probably not. made me well, more excited than the Star Wars ones. Well, okay. 
out of the sci-fi trailers, yes. Yes. But of all the trailers Sorry, that got again? released over the weekend, that Tarzan trailer was amazing. The what? The Tarzan trailer. Z- really? I didn't watch it yet. It, I can't no, I imagine not. making a live-action one. Well, it's not it's not traditional Tarzan. It's based on when he he got. Uh, Please tell me it's George of the Jungle Tarzan. <laughs> <laughs> Look out for that tree! <laughs> oh, that would be that'd be one of those things no, where no, you no, walk into the is, cinema. It's like, yeah, that's a bucket no, of no, note. Turn around, walk back based, out. This is based after like Tarzan oh, when he's oh. actually in London, and then he has to go back. Oh, okay. So this isn't traditional Tarzan. Like he's he's actually colonizing and can talk properly and stuff. So. Oh, okay. Oh, they decide not to try doing that whole half talk. This is yeah. They decide to screw the origin. The, well, they'll probably still be an origin, but it's not like what Disney have done and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. But no, it looks really good. Like, like CGI and everything looks really awesome. Scar's eyes ripped. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, I haven't seen it. But yeah, it's, um, but it looks I'm like we definitely. Up, uh, I'm sure. Sorry, we totally missed all of that. I thought I heard Jungle Book somewhere. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, I've I've heard Disney's gonna have a live action Jungle Book, and uh, that looks interesting. But uh, they already did I, a live action Jungle Book though, like ten, it? fifteen years ago. Yeah. Oh yeah. For some reason, well, since yeah. now, since they're doing all these live action movies, I guess they're doing that too. But I haven't seen a. Tarzan one, but I'm assuming it's gonna look like that, where it has lots of CGI gorillas, very realistic and everything. I'm yeah, sure it the, looks cool. The, the CGI of the oh, gorillas yeah. looks like the CGI from the um, the planet of the the new planet. That's the what I was movie. gonna say. They look really, really well, good. That's good news. Yeah, no, it looks really good. Is there any circus in there? <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. Is any circus one of the gorillas? <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. Because Andy Circus does all the motion. Yep. Well, he's a master. Exactly. <laughs> he has to be. <laughs> I think we broke. No. Him. I think we did. I think we broke him too. <laughs> no, I think we just have to know. sit there oh, and just... just talk about how horses. Oh come on! No, I, I disappeared out because someone was at the front man. door. So. <laughs> <laughs> I figured you guys would be fine to vamp for like a fine, minute. Fine, beautiful. <laughs> well, shall we move on to the main event of the of this no, podcast? No, no, we, we just we suck that much. Okay, the main event of the podcast what? is all of the old series. A whole heap of series are on holiday now. They've they've all done their mid season sort of endings. Is that the main part you wanted to talk about, Stuart? <laughs> well, well, we could do that, or we could do Star Wars, whatever one you want to do. At least Star Wars to later. That way, if EJ and them want to not listen, off. they Fair can. Enough. They can. So yeah. Well, uh, yeah. I'm let's come, let's this. cover the mid-season finale yeah. shows because yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, and I'm surprised I'm gonna say this. Supergirl knocked it out of the park with their mid-season finale. Yeah, they dropped a bombshell. Oh yeah. I have not been caught up with a Supergirl yet. I've seen, I think, the first two or three. Oh, it, 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 they it, dropped a I'm bombshell. I'm hearing how horrible it is. I wasn't even bothered. Supergirl is a very average series, but the yeah. end of the sort of the, the very sort of the mid-season ball drop that Stuart's talking about was just—it's like wow. You 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 walked away from it going, well, that changes about everything. Yeah. <laughs> So it hits it as something much, much, much larger happening. Does it involve other shows? No. No, no, oh. no. It doesn't involve Flash and Arrow. It involves but another... That would be fucking spectacular if it well, That would be great. But no, no, this... this uh, I'm just going to come on and say it. We have a Martian Manhunter in live action. Nice. It looks really, really, really CG. Oh yeah, <laughs> obviously. Yeah. But it does look awesome though. And as I said, the the way that it revealed it was just like, oh my lord, I was no. Well, I I had it because I've been keeping up with it, so I had an inkling that he may have been Martian Manhunter, although he doesn't say Martian Manhunter, refers to himself as uh, John Jones. Yeah. 
And, well, watching that, I figured he's the, the way that he had his eyes glowing and stuff earlier on, it's like, yeah, we know this guy's up to shenanigans, but... I'm yeah, when I saw like eyes glow for the first time, my mind went to... Is he gonna be a man hunter? Is he gonna be, is he gonna be a man hunter? Yeah. So. And I, uh, I just, I'm so happy because I really, actually, really like the character of Master Manhunter. Yeah. Where is this noise coming from? What is? What is going on? I blame, I blame Michael. I think it's you. Just getting random noise coming through the the in line. Yes, everybody blame. Uh, it's Amy, I believe, because it went away as soon as she turned, as soon as she got, got off the call. No, no, I think this time it's AJ. Really? My mic's muted. Yeah. Nope, not AJ. Not AJ. Must be Is Stuart. It Is it me? Oh. Nope, it's Michael. It's very much Michael. Look, I'm Michael. muting my microphone right now, watch. What the hell? What the? Now I'm I back. Yeah, no, I have it muted. Wow, that's really weird. Oh well, uh, back to back to mid-season finales. Yes, yes, yes. Back on. Let's try and keep it on topic for a second. Um. <laughs> so yeah. Now, uh, next could... up was I think. Flash. Next, yeah, Flash. I was disappointed. Yeah. It's just, it didn't seem like there was no big cliffhanger at the end. Yeah. I mean, there can't always be a big cliffhanger, you know? They had a nice, fun episode, I think. And I have to say, I loved the dreidels. <laughs> yes. God damn it. Do we actually find out um, the, whose grave it is? No. But no, we'll, 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 get to, we'll get to Arrow in a second. Speculation, we'll get to Arrow in a second. not confirmed. It's more 70% confirmed than anything. Like, it's yeah. hinting towards it. Yeah. But, um, I'm pretty sure I, I do. I do. Fake, yeah. I did like Wally being brought in at the end. Like, yeah. Yay! We have a Wally West. Yeah. We're finally starting to get towards Kid Flash. So yeah, and um, I got a sneaking suspicion that um, Wells is he's up to shenanigans. Well, I mean, it was pretty clear that he was. Well, oh, we know, yeah. Like, oh no, we, we know he's up to shenanigans. But the question is. Which side of the shenanigans is he going to go for? Is he going to try and work out where the daughter is and get Flash to save her? Which is would be an impressive feat considering he's up against Zoom, someone who just who's like a wraith for fucking Speed Force. Just... He's love... probably going to try to play both sides. Yeah, I l I've got to say, I love 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 the represent representation of Zoom. Yeah. He just he makes Reverse Flash seem like an Olympic kiddie pool. Yeah, <laughs> it does. <laughs> really, it's like, yeah, like not to take anything away from the Reverse Flash character that they did an awesome job with that. Zoom is the is just the pinnacle of terrifying bad guy. Yeah, he he, he beats the crap out of. Barry. Crap out of Barry. Breaks, breaks his back. He, he he does the whole Bane thing. He banes him. And then leaves him just fucked up. Barry managed uh, I, to come back, but still. I'm, as much as I want to know who actually is the uh, who who Zoom is under the mask, I kind of don't want to know just because it leaves. Uh, I like the mystery of it. Yeah, I wonder if they're going to do to Zoom what they did to sort of Reverse Flash and put pretty much everybody up against him to take him down. I mean, that's gotta be what's going to happen. I mean, I can't think of any possible way they could do it otherwise. So, so you got, you got Freeze. You got the. Oh, you mean like the Legends of Tomorrow the, guys? Yeah, take all of the Legends of Tomorrow and any of the other people that sort of owe them favors, and just that throw could... them at him and hope that it works. <laughs> that could be the launching point to Legends of Tomorrow, honestly. I thought Legends of Tomorrow was, was based around more Vandal Savage. Yeah, it is. It's more of a tiny whiny series. Die? So. Isn't I mean, Vandal I could Savage definitely see them bringing back Firestorm for it, but I just don't... Yeah. I just don't see them bringing back the others. So... Um... Moving on the, to Arrow. Arrow. I just watched this last night, and I have to say I was quite happy with it. I love the way the season's been. I've been, yeah. I've been my sister from watching the last episode. <laughs> I said to her, you could not watch this unless you've got something to cuddle and cry into. <laughs> is she a <laughs> Lucy fan, is she? Yeah. 
<laughs> and I, I said about halfway through the episode, it's it, you got to know why. Yeah, I didn't. T I didn't ruin the ending, but I did sort of ruin that the, ending. The was actually so. that that reminded me of very of like a mafia Godfather esque type ending. Yeah, and I got it's a sneaking just, suspicion just that straight up shoot him. I got a sneaking suspicion that that's a fake out. What is? So you don't think she's dead? No. Yeah, did you see the uh, the theory that went all around online recently, or in the last couple of days, about the idea that maybe it was going to go, she was going to become Oracle? Oracle? Yeah, um, I kind of from the DC Universe. Oracle is. I don't know who so Oracle, Oracle is. So Oracle uh, uh, is a different character, but um, is played by a different character. Yeah, but, uh, Oracle, is, it, Oracle is played by um, Barbara Gordon after she gets shot on the back by Joker. And she's paralyzed, and so she becomes Oracle and like the tech person and everything. And I could, I could easily see that being Felicity. So could I. I must say she's pretty much already Oracle. Yeah. yeah. But I could see her going the paralyzed route. Yeah. Especially. Oh, since... oh okay. Yeah, now I get you. Yeah, that's that's why. That's why they were saying that. Um, especially since you know the uh, the pit is no longer <laughs> Lazarus pit is. Yeah, no longer in play, exactly. But that or he injects her with Mirakuru. <laughs> oh god, please no. We don't need that. That would be horrible. My dear, Felicity on Mirakuru would be the greatest comedy skit ever. <laughs> just her raging no, no, and I, hulking I, I... out, trying to beat up Oliver, and Oliver just sort of stopping her with one no, hand. I, I'm, and just I'm... be like, really? You, you, you tried to do this? Just... Sorry, I, if she's I'm... on Mirakuru, he couldn't stop her that easily. No, I, I'm, sticking to, I'm sticking to she's dead and we're going to have a very dark en um, end to, of the season. Yeah. I think it's just too obvious because I think yeah. it's just too too easy because of the ending of Flash and that Flash forward and Flash and then this. It, it feels too neat and clean. Yeah. Well, who do you think is going to be on the, on the grave tomb then? I could see that maybe being. Um, I could see it being Theo. Maybe I maybe even possibly um, Malcolm, like because he got into a fight with Damien with Dark and I like. I don't think Oliver would want to kill Damien if if he killed Malcolm. Yeah, I don't think Oliver would it be that broken. Be someone, up. It has to be someone closer, which is, which leaves. But he he's 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 Theo's father. Yeah, but even still, he wouldn't be that upset over Malcolm's See, death. If, if it was Thea, then that would drive him to insanity. Oh, maybe. If it was Thea, or if it was uh, oh, they kill Felicity, Diggle. they kill off what if Diggle. Diggle. Could you imagine yeah, if, if they kill off Diggle? I think a lot of people would be pissed. A lot of people love wonder... the Diggle character. Yeah. It could. Be. Maybe something happens with Diggle's brother and he gets killed. Yeah. Diggle, I mean, gets killed. Diggle gets killed. Well, there's only a handful of people that he cares enough about. Yeah, and, and we know no we know nothing's like, and we know nothing will happen to Laurel because we know the Green Arrow history is eventually those two get married. So, spoilers for anyone who doesn't know that. <laughs> so, so yeah, a bit late to say spoilers. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, um, but yeah, I don't know, I. I very highly doubt it's going to be Felicity because I don't think where we are now is six months after the start of the season. And that grave was six months, so there's still... Do you still think there's a bit of time in between? I think yeah. I missed the last episode of these two. <laughs> yeah. I thought I was all caught up. Now da you're making me wonder if I missed an episode. Da Damien Dark went... Well, put it this way. Oliver jumped in front of a camera and said, this is Damien Dark, this is the guy that's been screwing up the city. Yeah, I saw that. And so Damien just went absolute nutso against him. And at the very end, um, Oliver proposes to Felicity at the Christmas light turning on ceremony. Yeah, I saw that. And then um, they drive off. And as they drive off, these guys with guns chase after them and just shoot the shit out of their car. And Felicity gets yeah, shot to hell. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, that's what we're up to. But you're talking about a grave six months later. That I did not see. Oh, that's that, from Flash. That's No, no, that wasn't Flash. That was the very first episode of Arrow. At the very beginning of this season, Wait, the first what? shot was um, them at a grave... Oliver at a gravestone, and Barry's yep. there. No, and it was Barry the end was, of the episode. It was, was the end, end of the episode? End of the episode. End of the episode. And if the first episode Was it really? Oh, whoops. yeah. Yeah. And, um, and Barry's like, look, I'm sorry, I couldn't be here. And Oliver's like, Zoom thing? He's like, yeah, Zoom. And, um... 
then Barry disappears and it sort of shows Oliver absolutely destroyed. And as it pans around to reveal the grave, it stops and you can't see it. And that was the very end of the first episode. Uh, so we know... So there's been speculation of whose name is on the grave. Yeah. And given the ending of that oh, episode, okay. a lot of the people are like, it's Felicity! And I'm like, no, it wouldn't be Felicity. That'd be too fucking obvious. So... Yeah. Okay, next topic. Next topic. Actually, what would be an interesting twist? White Canary kills Thea. Eh, huh. Maybe. So what if it's Oliver's son? Oh. What if Dark finds out about? <laughs> I love. Oh. Oh. What, if Dark... what if Dark finds out Didn't about even Oliver's son? That. That... What if Dark finds out about Oliver's son and goes after him as a revenge? No pun intended, but that is really dark. Yeah. Not intended <laughs> at all. But that would that would that was that... the one character that's not critical to the show that Oliver could drive all of Yeah. Yeah, yeah I and, ba- and Barry knows that. about the, and Barry knows as well. Yeah. That's true. And no one and no one else knows. Actually that makes perfect sense. That would be Perfect. That fits As... all of the that fits all of the keys. I think Michael just accidentally stumbled across the answer, and I am now officially hey, hey, going to hey, take full hey, credit hey, for it. Hey, accidentally, accidentally, I'm just a genius. Thank you very much. <laughs> and you are not taking credit for my idea. <laughs> <laughs> I only have a few good ones once in a while. <sighs> so yeah, that's actually but that would be that would be intriguing. That would actually it fits all of the. All of the data points. It explains why none of the others are there. It explains why Barry's there, because he lives in Central City. It explains why Oliver's broken up about it. Um, because... Yeah, because you'd think if it was anybody else it, other than Felicity, it would be Felicity would be there with him, even if yeah. others weren't. Exactly. And if no one else knows about the kid, then that it makes actually fits all of the, the points that we know about the scene. So yeah, okay. Worry aside, let's move on to what we expect from the Star Wars movie. We got. All right, well, I'm gonna get going because I need to go take care of a few things before I watch um, um, whatever it's called, Expanse. Okay. So okay. I will catch you guys later. Have fun. Bye. Right, bye. So we're not gonna cover Shield, uh, Agents of Shield. Um, sure, we'll cover Agents of Shield. Just because I like how the like, just because I like how the episode ended. Oh yeah, it ended pretty nice. That's, that's... Oh wait, are you guys going to cover Agents of Shield right now? Yeah. All right, I'm going to peace out though because I I haven't been following it. I'm waiting for it on Netflix. So. Uh, see you, Jay. All right, later, guys. I think we should have done Star Wars. Yeah, Probably. whatever. Um, I just really want to talk about because I really, 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 really love what they're doing. Yeah. Well, to be honest. As soon as I said they're going back to that planet to ca- to get the dude back, I was like, "Yeah, that is so gonna be the bad guy." Yeah. And then when they noticed that his leg was just completely rotten off, I was like, "Wait, wait, that ain't good. That ain't good at all." No. And so yeah, so it looks like he's almost um, lack of a better way of putting it, almost Anubis from Stargate. Yeah. Where he can sort of take over people's bodies. Like yeah, that's it, that's corpses. Beast's power. And, um, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see. Uh, um, Sky what... just joined us. At least I think it's Sky. Um, hello, Sky. I'm just assuming it's you in the chat. Um, so, yeah, it was definitely an interesting end. Mm. So, I, I was actually I just, sort I of glad they finally up. fucking killed Ward off. I was like, yay, Ward's dead. Yeah, they killed Wolof and then Beast possesses his body, so... Yeah. I was going to say, yeah, how long is he going to stay dead? Yeah. Yeah, no, no, the Beast possesses the body, so it's still going to be the same actor, but just now it's Beast in the body instead of yeah, Ward. Yeah, exactly. So it's going to be really cool. And he, he himself actually said he's he was looking forward to the change of direction, so... Yeah. So, um... Very much looking forward to that. But anyway, yeah. let's do the news, and then we'll do Star Wars after that. Oh jeez, news. First off, I'm not doing any Star Wars news. Good. <laughs> I'm just, I don't care how many stuff there is. I'm not. I have not watched anything for a week. Yeah. Okay, let's do the rest of the news. Rest of the news. 
things? I don't actually have the news up, so I'm <laughs> panicking. So, oh cool, here we go. Uh, uh, return things for Arrow and Flash. That'll be good. Alright, so, uh, uh, Flash returns January 19th. Uh, Arrow returns January 20th, and then <laughs> Legend of Tomorrow starts January 21st. Wow, that's going to be awesome. <laughs> Just pile everything up, why don't you? Yeah. Of course they do. True. So, yeah. So, yeah, uh, well, what else? Are there, are there, um, there, uh, oh, yeah, the, uh, the international trailer for uh, Captain America Civil War dropped. Nothing, there's nothing new in that, so. Yep. But at least the other, at least um, I think it's Japan or someone has something. So yeah. Uh, what else is I, there? Was one big thing I saw and I can't remember what it was. Ah, <laughs> uh, the failing at the news guy. Yes, because we're so focused on Star Wars. Yeah. Speaking of Star Wars trivia tonight, woo! Did you see the on the news? They had a picture of the red carpet. They did? Yep, for the Star Wars. Um, oh, okay. I, haven't seen, I haven't seen anything for that, actually. Um, except it has a big tent over it, all of it. <laughs> They're hiding something. Oh, God. Do, do we dare say it? It's definitely Jar Jar. It's a trap. <laughs> You're fired. <laughs> See yourself, yeah. see yourself to the airlock. I'm too lazy to drag you there this time. You know where it is by now. <sighs> so yeah, anyway. Since Stuart has got all of no fucking news whatsoever... Let's start on the Star Wars. Let's start on the Star Wars. Uh, oh, right. Yes. Mr. One-Track Star Wars mind. <laughs> oh, please. You know, you know you're focusing on it as well. I've been counting down the sleeps, damn it. There's only one left. I know my mind telling me no. Actually, my body no telling me no. Actually, my body telling me no as well because I got no sleep last night. <laughs> <laughs> and don't. No, we're gonna get any sleep tonight. And don't forget, we're doing a special podcast straight after we get out from it. So as soon as you get home. Or... And derobe. And derobe. Because I'm gonna die. <laughs> I'll be curled up nice and sleep. Yeah. Me and Stuart are doing a, a little one on one. Star Wars podcast. So yeah, let's let's actually move on to what we think is going to happen. Oh yeah. So we know that there's a new Dune so weapon. It's called the Star Killer Base. Yeah. Which yeah. I love the name. Yeah. To, for, to a force to a force unleashed, and to Luke's original name as well before it was Skywalker. Yeah. And the the downside I think is it's oh look another giant doomsday weapon. What yeah. are we going to do? And I. They're probably just going to make a giant space mirror and just reflect the laser back at it. Seriously, that is the greatest weakness to laser weapons. A mirror. That's why that that's why the chrome stormtrooper is effectively invincible. Any oh, laser that hits them is just going to deflect straight off the mirror. i got a question. Do you think anyone is going to die in this movie? Oh, yes. Probably. Who do you think's, who do you think's kicking the bucket? Okay, if it was someone from the original cast... I would... and it could be anyone. I know. I know. I know it could be anyone, but I'm just saying, if it was someone from the original cast, I'm going with Han Solo. Yeah. If it was someone from... Um, if it's anyone at all, I'm going to go with um, Ray. Ooh, interesting. I don't think she'll get killed off. I think she's... I think she's the Skywalker of the trilogy. Yeah. Because Star Wars is always focused on, on the... On the Skywalker family. Yeah. I know Captain Phasma has been confirmed for episode 8 because Kathleen Kennedy said that, so we know she won't be getting killed off. There's rumours that Akbar is going to be in episode 8, so we know that he won't be killed off. Yeah. Um, um I think definitely Han is a possibility. I think Finn's going to lose an, a hand or an arm or something in that lightsaber fight with Kylo. Yeah. It's, someone always loses an arm in Star Wars. Yeah. If you have a lightsaber fight and you don't lose an arm, there's something really wrong with you. Yeah. Every Star Wars movie, someone loses an arm. And if you notice, it's always Except the same episode... arm. Oh, no, no, episode four, yeah, no, someone did lose an arm. Yeah, the dude in the, the cantina. Notice it's always... I, don't think, I don't think anyone lost an arm in episode in Phantom Menace. 
Um. I know Qui-Gon got stabbed in the chest. Yeah. <laughs> you got some. Oh no. Really, unless you count the millions of droid pieces. Yeah. <laughs> You're actually right. I don't think anyone actually lost an arm in episode one. No, episode two, Anakin lost his. So, so what, we, what we've just discovered is episode one even failed at getting people to lose their arms. It failed in every fucking respect. Well, no, one um, did lose the bottom half of his body. That is a fair point, Sky. More lost the bottom half of his body, yeah. Well, the bottom <laughs> half of the body lost the top half of the body, depending on how you want to look at it. <laughs> um... I'm intrigued to see what the score, what the sound of the score is going to be for everything. Yeah, so am I. It's just, it's it's, it's gonna be it's got... it's gonna be very interesting. And I can't wait for it. Um, I'm actually bought some Velcro from Bunnings because to buy Velcro from Spotlight it's like twenty bucks. To buy Velcro yeah. f- Velcro from Bunnings it's like two. Yeah, they're exactly the fucking same. <laughs> <laughs> it's Spotlight. I know. Um, so I just got some Velcro that has a sticky back on it. Yeah. And I'm gonna put that on my shoulders. Um, yep. And use it to hold the the shoulder pieces of the costume on. Yeah. So, for those who don't know, we are all dressing up as Jedi to watch this. Hell yes. Oh yeah. So. And dressing up as Jedi tonight. Oh yeah. If I get there. Yeah. yeah. If 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 Stuart has a way to get back in the house. <laughs> my my house keys have gone missing, so this is <laughs> if I don't find them, this isn't going to end well. Yeah. So. I have a, I have a, I have an an idea where they are, but I just hope it's not true. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, um, three minutes left. Uh, I. Th- uh, what do you think the opening scene's gonna be? Ooh, like the roll roll credits, and then open like after up? after the after the after the um the uh the wall of text scrolls. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I would so it's... laugh if they don't do that. A country game blown up. <laughs> a country? Well, Did you mean a, a town? Planet? Yeah. Games line up. So you, hmm. See, every single movie has started off with in a space. space, some sort of space. Yeah. With the exception ha- of number. Number one started off with the droids in space. Number two started off with them landing on a planet. Number three started off with the epics. That epic, that epic space, space battle. battle. Number four that started off with Tatooine, above Tatooine with the. With the the, the Corvette, ship. yeah. Yeah. Um, number four started off on Hoth. So, or did that? St- no, it didn't. It started off in space. It's all space with the Star probe Destroyer, being sent off. probe droids, yeah. Yeah. And number six started off in space as well. Yeah. So that's with started Vader off in space somewhere. To, over to the Death Star. That's right. Um, I think I. Th- I think and this is. I think we're going to see uh, a plat. I think it's going to scroll down. I think there's going to be a planet. I think there's. Going to, I think the uh, the new. I keep saying the Imperial fleet. The New Order are going to invade. I think yeah. that village that that they torch is going. To, is I think that's going to be the opening thing. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Or or Poe getting captured and tortured and stuff like that. Yeah. Whoops. Oh no, there's there's a whole. There's still a lot of mystery. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's, by... it's gonna it's we... gonna be good. Um, yeah. What did you mean by did we do Potter? Yeah. Uh, for the death of Colonel Potter. Oh. <gasps> oh no. No. God. God. Stuart, you're fired. <laughs> Just totally fired. You, you don't deserve to be part of this anymore. <laughs> It'd be very quiet otherwise. You you had two jobs. Failed at both of them. <laughs> Whoops. Anyway. Anyway. Anyway, that's it for this week's podcast, I guess. Wind it up just a tiny little bit earlier than normal. Um, make sure you check out facebook.com slash save sci-fi for all of your sci-fi news. Uh, facebook.com slash save sci-fi podcast for the podcast. Um, and definitely check out Nobility. And as always, keep it on Garrison 7. Give them a like. Send them the love. Um, yeah, that's about it. That's all I got. Um, yeah. Star Wars comes out this week. Can't wait for it. It's going to be great. I and hope. I, I, I still have a little... Like, I'm 90% sure this is going to be great, but just a little part of me is worried it's going to do a prequels and flop. 
Yeah. Um, Just because if, if it flops, there is nothing to fall back on. It has to do well to keep this alive. Yeah. So, yeah. Anyway. So Star Wars comes out uh, in a bit over four... A bit over 36 hours from now, so... Yeah, give or take a bit. Yeah. 40 hours. So, catch you guys later. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye.